Yep. <laughs> yep. Totally. All right, brother. Well. Uh, Body cam footage that just came to light from all the way back in January 2023 shows Seattle officer Daniel Ardeer, who just so happened to be vice president of the Seattle Police Officers Guild, accidentally turning on his body cam the worst possible time while on the phone with union leader Mike Solon. Oh, he's good. He says, well, normally we don't give voluntary statements. And I said, hey, you're going to have to decide if you wanted to give a statement or not. But it does not seem like there's a criminal investigation going on. They're discussing a crime Audier responded to the night before where fellow Seattle PD officer Kevin Dave struck a pedestrian while reportedly driving 74 miles per hour in a 25 mile per hour zone as he was responding to an overdose call. The victim, 23-year-old Janavi Kandula, seen here, was a graduate student from India studying for her master's degree at Northeastern University when she was struck by Dave in a crosswalk while trying to avoid the oncoming vehicle. Yeah, I mean... He's going 50. That's not out of control. That's not reckless for a train driver. Yeah, lights and sirens. Now that we know Dave was actually driving over 70 miles per hour, not 50 miles per hour, and did not have his siren continuously activated like Audir is saying here, who then goes on to assert another completely false fact about the crash. The, initially, uh, he said she was in a crosswalk. Uh, there's a witness that says, no, she wasn't. But that witness could be different because I don't think she was thrown 40 feet either. Uh, I think she went up on the hood, hit the windshield. Then when he hit the brakes, flew off the car. Seattle PD's own report concluded that Kandula was thrown almost 100 feet further by Dave's vehicle than Audier's estimation. But this is still just scratching the surface of how disgusting and unacceptable Audier's following comments are about Kandula's death. But she is dead. <laughs> no, it's a regular person. Yeah. Yeah, just write a check. Just. Yeah. <laughs> what? Eleven thousand dollars. She was twenty-six anyway. She had limited value. <laughs> These are the folks who are apparently supposed to protect and serve our communities and look out for the good of the general public. How can you trust this if this is how they act in both private and in public? After receiving a complaint from a department employee in early August, an investigation was launched into Audir and Solon's call that remains ongoing today. Interestingly, Mike Carter of the Seattle Times is reporting that Jason Rance, a conservative talk radio host at KTTH and a total blowhard, apparently obtained the complaint that showed Audir was the one that reported himself, a claim that was shot down by Chief Adrian Diaz, as Audir may have tried to run defense for himself by running to a conservative for help where Ardeer reportedly used conservatives' favorite I-was-just-taken-out-of-context argument to defend the call with his union boss and the comments he made disparaging Kandula's life and tragic death at the hands of Officer Kevin Dave. We will keep you posted as the investigation continues and more information comes to light, and we hope that the Kandula family gets the justice they deserve.